What's up YouTube? Today I got this 2008 Chevrolet Trailblazer and the customer's complaining of reduced engine power and the check engine light coming on and off. Now I've already scanned this. It's got a P0121 which is TPS sensor, throttle body performance. Now this is a notorious problem on these Trailblazers and really any GM that uses this style of electric throttle body. Now for the benefit of the doubt I already took the boot off and cleaned the throttle body because a dirty throttle body can cause that too. That didn't fix it. Anyway, just no need for further testing. This is such a common problem. I'm gonna show you how to replace it. Let's get started. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so I continue to make videos like this to make your life easier. Let's do this. Now I've already got my part. This guy right here, nice, shiny, and new. Now I recommend getting a good quality one like a Bosch or a AC Delco. But that's up to you. It's going to fail again either ways. Let's do this. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this boot off. Eight millimeter clamp. I'm going to put my reducer on here because my quarter inch ratchet's been sent off to be fixed. Don't you fall. Yeah, the head broke off of it. Tools always want to be falling. Alright, now we take it off from here, we're going to plug this, this mass airflow sensor, or not, I'm trying to keep from pulling on the wires. But they like to put these little locking tabs. And this one is just stuck in there. So, we're going to take our chances. Just need to get it out of the way just enough to pull this guy off. Alright, now let's take your 10 to take these bolts off to secure it to the valve cover. It's usually one in the front and one in the back. Let's walk over to the side so we can see. Get that out of my way. Someone's put an aftermarket K and N filter on this. Pop your little clip off. Right. Give you all a little light, even though it's bright out here. Maybe this will help a little bit. Get these bolts out of the way so they don't fall down. Get the magnet. There we go. And just pull this out of your way. All right. Now you're gonna unhook this little clip. Push down on it like that. Just pull out on it. We'll unplug it when we get it off the car work with it easier now you're gonna have four 10 millimeter bolts on this guy all right and that bottom one's a little tricky to get onto because that coil right there Come on. So, that's why I got an extension right here. Alright. 
and then let's lose the extension for now. Nope, it's gonna hit. So, plan B. Good old swivel socket. Pop that off. Now we can get to the plug better. Let's go ahead and get these bolts out before they fall. Okay. Now we can get this plug easier. Take a little flathead screwdriver. These dumb locking tabs. Pull out on that. Push in your tab. All right. Now normally there's no core on those if you get a new one. Uh, this gasket still looks good. It's not flat. It sticks out. So we're going to reuse that gasket because they don't give you a new one with the throttle body. Unless you ask for one. Make sure that's in. Pull on it to make sure it's secure. And start them bolts always just a couple turns oh it tried to fall on me y'all no sir not today All right, go ahead and hook that back up until you hear it click. Now, reverse your ratchet. All right, we're just going to kind of work the corners here so it bolts down nice and even. Let's see if I can get this. Yeah. All right. Just kind of a crisscross pattern. That one's a little loose, I think, still. I should have just used a swivel socket on all of them. All right. Now, hook our boot back up. Make sure you hook this hose up right there. There you go. All right. Work that back in there. Boom, like that. That didn't even have a clamp on it. That's not good. Obviously. All right. So, push that in as far as I can. Secure your clip. 
No harness don't rub nothing. Grab your tin. sure everything's out of the way we're gonna fire this up I'm gonna call Napa or one of my part suppliers and get a clamp for that because it takes a big clamp but for now we're gonna start it up make sure it revs nice got a squeaky belt I didn't hear that before, but it was warmed up when they brought it to me. So I'm going to be calling them back and recommending the belt, I guess. But it's idling good now. Before it was falling on its face, it wouldn't rev past two grand. Yeah, that belt's annoying. I'm surprised you didn't say something about that. But, anyways, that's another video. I hope y'all liked this video. Please subscribe. Please check like. Y'all have a good day. Peace out, YouTube.